What I wanted to do in this one, and this is kind of solid state relays for dummies. Uh, most of you guys that have been around this at all pretty much know all this stuff. But uh, for those that don't, this is an electronic relay, or you could call it a contactor because it will handle uh, 40 amps. So there's no moving parts in it. It switches with probably a uh, SCR. I guess I don't really know. Uh, have them take one apart. One of these days I should. Uh, but I'm going to be mounting this thing on a heat sink. Now this is for use with a uh, PID controller. And I'll get into the PID controller in another video. But I just wanted to show you how we're going to set this up. This thing actually gets hot. Now it's not real hot, it doesn't get real hot, but this metal plate on here uh, is, it's a heat sink, but I'm going to add this heat sink to it to give it a little more. I'm maybe a little overboard on heat sinks, but uh, I do do that. A uh, couple other things about this thing. You can run DC into this and it will energize that little light right there will come on. So if I put power into this thing, it will energize anywhere from 3 to 32 volts DC. It will energize and it will close a set of normally open contacts here uh, from 90 to 480 volts AC. And like I said, it will handle 40 amps. So I'm going to go ahead and, and mount this up and show you how we mount it. Okay, we've got our little container of uh, heat sink glop. It's just a heat transfer medium that will transfer the heat easily from this to there. Probably got more than I need there. <laughs> uh, you don't need a whole lot of this stuff. Uh, that little container goes a long way. Okay, the next thing is uh, the really complicated part here. We put the doohickey on it. Okay, that's it. Not much else to it. Uh, the heat sink has got to be placed in an area where it can actually have air moving over it. So, um, so it'll be effective, but that's all there is to it. There's really not much to it. I'll show you when I uh, set up the PID controller uh, where I'm going to put it and how I'm going to set it up. I will have a playlist on all these uh, different operations I'm doing for uh, the PID controller and I will reference the playlist uh, right here at the end of this video. That's all for this one.